Hey, welcome back everyone. The last we left off, we made uh, a little quick little level blueprint that uh, when book touch other, or when object touches other object, do something. In this case, book touch bookcase, open door. So in the next one, so today's episode, we're actually going to do the uh, pick up the book, then move gate. So we're going to kind of have a bookcase, but in our code, we're actually never going to need to check for it. All we're going to need to check for is what state the book's in, and then when it changes, well, change the state of the door. That's pretty simple. So with that said and done, let's actually go about. So what I'm going to do is just take these objects, and I'm just going to hold Alt and drag just to get them in. And just for visual sakes, I'm going to change the static mesh of the book to say the little tiny book for this one. All right, so basically what we wanna do is we want to check in what mode the flat component of this guy is in. So if we come here and we check mode, hmm, there's nothing in here, right? Okay. Uh, ah, we got flat component right there, suspended, hmm, okay, okay, so flat mode, component, right there, flat component, suspended, so that's what it's in, so what we can do is, let's get to here, and let's go in, select this second book, let's see what state it actually goes into, so if we look right here, mode free so when she's when when you press play this object goes into free mode but whoops sorry about that i do that often all right uh, i want to check this flat component doesn't really matter but i kind of like seeing that one instead so with now checking to see this free mode here Let's click on our book, and oh, look at that. She just changed to human hand. So now we know that the moment it goes from free to being in the player's hand, this mode that it's in is called human hand. All right, so let's go back to our level blueprints. And what we're going to want to do is, right at the beginning, is we want to start checking and seeing when this guy's mode changes. So to go about doing that, we're gonna have to go and start with a new event called event tick. So this event tick is basically an event that checks every single frame to actually see if blah, blah, blah happens, or do this every frame, or whatever you code at this point, well, it'll occur every single frame which you gotta kinda watch out because it will start getting memory intensive. So, what we want is this book, with it selected, right click, create reference to book two, and we're gonna wanna get the owner of the flat component. So owner of flat component. All right, with that done, we are going to cast to BP book and book. All right, now let's connect the event. Oh yeah, done. And I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna put him here. All right. So and we now know from before that what we need to affect is the mode. So what I'm gonna want to go and get is the actual mode of the flat component of the book. And just to see what it what it's going to be set as, I'm gonna put an equal enum. So now I get to see that, oh, okay. So right now it's free, but what we want to check is when it's gonna change state. So when its state is going to be equal to human hand. And by doing that, we're going to do that branch again. 
same thing here. So this branch is the, the check to see if this happens, then we are actually, I'm going to do it this way. Um, we're going to get the platform door. And what we're going to tell it to do is get the reference to it. So right click, create reference to platform door number two, drag off. And we are going to get owner of the platform. So if you remember from last tutorial, we had affected, that's how we affected the mode. We're going to do it the exact same way. And then we're going to cast to BP platform door. Make sure it's door. I did that mistake. All right. So once that's done, we're going to want to set moving state of the platform and connect it. And what we're going to want to do is the exact same thing, put it to open, compile, press play, and if we go and see, aha, she works. But now, I'm going to show you guys why making your own blueprint is actually kind of better. It takes a bit more steps, a little bit more time, but once you have it done, it's done. Okay? And right now, everything that I've done is to this level. So I cannot reproduce this. I'd have to take all my code and I'd have to then reselect all these objects, change all of their references, these ones, these ones. These ones are fine. But the, all these would need to be changed in all of my code, everywhere. All of these, boom, boom, change them all. All right, so meh, a bit less fun. So like I said, if you only have a couple to make, it's quite simple. It's quick, so you don't actually have to make your own blueprint. But if you're going to keep doing it over and over and over again, and you want to help your level designers, well, this is how you, the, in the next episodes we'll actually show you how to make really modular puzzles. Well, puzzle pieces, really. So keys and locks, in a sense, right? So right now, I'm going to show you guys why it's not always a good idea to do these. So that's all good, right? That's all good. We have that working. And we have this guy working. All's fine. Boom. Yeah, she opens, right? But. But, 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 the problem is when I go to this code, this one kind of doesn't select, you know, any book. While this one, we were checking for its human hand, this one's just checking if a book's being hit. So sometimes you can get into these kind of issues and whatnot, and... Preferably, I, I, I don't like doing too many level blueprints. Um, it's always fun to have your own blueprints in a sense. So in the next episodes, uh, we'll actually go about making our own. So have a blueprint that connects to a book that you've selected in the details panel. And have those then affect the gate. Alright, so all in code. You'll never, and actually we'll specify which gate as well. So we'll have exactly like here, we'll have a connect to, but instead of being in the electric component, it'll be in, uh, in the defaults. So right now there is no default because these, these uh, are coded slightly differently, but we're going to make our own default variables and place, uh, actually have a spot, a drop down for uh, the actual kind of, you know, which item that you want to actually connect to. All right. So I'm going to leave you guys here. And uh, again, if you guys have any cool puzzles that you've thought of and that you might think is too hard to make, send it my way and we'll try and uh, maybe make our own little blueprints and maybe make a video out of it. Maybe help everybody else. And um, with that, I'm going to let you guys go so you guys can go have some amazing fun making some cool level blueprints 
And uh, that'll be that. Take it easy, guys.